Hey everyone, I am Kunal Ralad and in this tutorial I'll demonstrate you how to deploy a Flask application on ECS using Ubuntu server. So as we all know, Flask is a commonly used Python micro framework for web applications. And in this tutorial we will deploy a sample Flask application using PM2 Process Manager which is primarily used with Node.js but it works as well for Python. So for us, PM2 will start the process in the background and then we will use Nginx proxy server to reverse proxy the application for us. All right, so let's get straight onto it. Let's uh, open our ECS console. Okay, so this is our Alibaba Cloud dashboard. From the dashboard, if uh, you frequently use ECS, it should be in your recently visited, else it should be right here in, uh, inside Elastic Computing. So let's open up Elastic Compute Service. And then we need to And now we need to create a new instance. For this, uh, we'll go for pay as you go. We'll deploy it in Asia Pacific Mumbai region. So since this is a small application, we'll use a small instance, but you can uh, choose your configuration as per your users. This is good for us. We'll use Ubuntu 18.0464 bit. Uh, we'll let the security announcement be checked. So the security announcement will uh, have some inbuilt security components provided by Alibaba Cloud for free. So we can let it be. So we'll leave everything as it is. And uh, let's move on. Here we we'll let everything be default. Uh, let's accept the agreement and terms of service and then create our instance. So perfect, our instance has been created. Let's go to the console. It should be ready pretty soon. So once your instance is up and running, we can uh, try connecting here. So I what I usually like is connecting through my own terminal. And for that, we'll have to reset the password, which should be here. I'll put in a password that I want to reset to. Oops, it did not match. Let me try again. Yeah, perfect. So we'll reset the password and uh, once done, we'll have to restart the machine. And uh, mind it, if you don't want to use your own terminal to connect, you can just use the connect button here, which I'll uh, quickly show you how to do. So it's running again. You can uh, use the VNC. Uh, make sure you copy this and keep it somewhere safe because this is only shown once and you'll need it every time you want to connect. It's connecting. Enter your VNC password. Now you'll be logging as root. We have already set the password. So we'll just use that. Oops, the password was incorrect. Hope it gets through now. Perfect. So you can obviously use uh, this, but what I'd prefer is a new window of my terminal. Let's uh, connect to the machine this is the IP address. 
So now we'll log into our newly created instance. So we'll enter the command SSH root at the red IP address and IPP for the password. I'll enter the password and yeah, we have logged in. Next thing what we'll do is we will install the git client so that we can clone the repository of the Flask application that we want to uh, deploy. But before we download the git client, let's update our app git. Should be done pretty soon. Now let's next install git. Enter yes. And now we shall have our git client up and running. Perfect. So once we have uh, git, let's enter git clone. And here I remember the part two. the repository so now we have got the application as you see this is a very simple application and uh, this will only return hello world on the root route but that's all we need for this um, video now the next thing we'll do is we'll move this uh, to some other directory other than this uh, home directory but before that let's also install nginx and npm we we'll need uh, these two dependencies as well should be done pretty soon So now we should uh, have our Nginx as well as npm installed. Let's move this to let's move this to slash for www.html because that that's where usually the web application lies on Ubuntu servers and. Uh, once moved, let's uh, cd to the directory. As you see, we have our Flask Hello World application here now. We don't need the Nginx index file which comes pre installed with Nginx. We can get rid of this, and uh, then also what we can do is we can get the Flask stuff out here. So perfect. Now we have. And then we can also remove this folder. Once we have moved all our Flask files, let's install the dependencies. So for this one, we'll only need to install Flask, and uh, we'll do that using pip. So before we do that, let's install python pip note that you can also install all your dependencies in a virtual environment but for this tutorial we won't be using virtual environments and globally installing the dependencies since here we are only going to use this server for one deployment and we will just need one installation of this
once we have pip let's use pip to install flask should be done pretty quickly and uh, once we have that running let's try running our application using command python hello.py and it works so by default the application will start on 5000 port which is good and uh, so our next step is to get pm2 which is uh, usually a process manager used by node.js applications but it works pretty well with python as well so we'll be leveraging pm2 to run our python application in the background let's use npm to install pm2 should be pretty straightforward make sure you install it in global mo uh, mode by using hyphen g so once we have our pm2 running our python application in the background we'll now need uh, leverage nginx to proxy requests on port 80 from the internet to get the requests on our port uh, 5000 which is our python flask application so let's do that so let's cd to nginx so it's an etc slash nginx and here in sites enable we have a, a, if you look at it we have a default site enabled that comes uh, pre-built so we'll just use our default site let's open nano editor and so 80 is our default port server and the server block and here on the root location that's where we want our application to proxy and we'll delete this we can remove all this we won't need this on the root location we'll instruct nginx to take all the So if you have noticed, uh, we are using certain parameters to proxy the request. Uh, most important thing here is to make sure the proxy pass is going to the right host and the right port. Here in our case, it's localhost 5000. So all the requests will be proxied here. Let's save this. So before reloading our engineering server, we shall test if our configuration was successful and there was no error. So perfect, it says the syntax is okay and the test was successful. Now we can run the command service nginx reload and it will reload the configuration. And the server should be up and running here. Our server was running and nginx must have restarted as well. So let's copy this and try to access port 80 here. Perfect, and as you see, hello world, which is what our application is returning on the root route is being displayed. So as you can see here, we can see the response from our Flask application served by our Nginx server. And we have successfully deployed our Flask application using PM2 and Nginx.